Hello everyone, what's up? In today's video we will see what enamel filters are, when to use them and how to apply them. Whether you are a wargamer or a scale modeler, if you want to learn more about weathering, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. So if you're watching this, chances are that you're already familiar with enamel or oil washes. However, many people don't know the difference between this and a filter. Rather than make this a lecture, I've decided to show you the enamel filter stage of my current Panzer One project in order to illustrate exactly what this difference is. Let's start by talking about materials and application. The filter is a very thin enamel paint, which comes ready to use straight out of the bottle. Just remember to shake it well before you start. The best way to apply it is with a flat brush, and the surface should be matte or satin, not gloss. As you can see, I have started by applying the filter on the upper part of the turret using gentle strokes in only one direction. Because of the consistency of this enamel, the fact that the surface is quite matte and the limited amount of paint on the brush, the area is not being flooded with enamel as would typically happen with a wash. In fact, you can see that it's not even pooling in the recessed areas. This is all intentional. You will also have noticed that the effect on the white areas of the upper hatch was quite striking, whereas it seemed very subtle elsewhere. This is something you should definitely bear in mind. The filter is extremely easy to control, even on vertical surfaces. Unlike with a wash, you can spread it gently with the flat of the brush, capillary action isn't going to do anything for you. The effect of a filter is not easy to capture on camera, but I hope that at this stage you have realized why this technique is called a filter. Like a filter in photography, it alters or boosts the colors. The turret had a little bit too much contrast before, what with the white, the black and the three camo colors, plus the highlights. The filter is bringing all those elements together, producing a more homogeneous, realistic whole. As you can see, I'm not applying the filter with the same intensity on all areas. It is very easy to modulate the effect by reapplying the enamel to areas that you want to emphasize. If you somehow apply too much, which is actually difficult to do, you could always blend it with some thinner, just as you would with a wash. Applying a filter over decals is no problem at all. 
In fact, it helps blend them with the surrounding area, which can otherwise be hard to achieve. You can probably tell that the colors are now becoming more vibrant, more saturated. While this is the result of the particular combination of colors that I've gone for, remember that there are many different colors available in the Ammo of Make filters range, so you really have a lot of different possibilities. Here I am beginning to reapply the filter to areas where I wanted the effect to be stronger. These are essentially the various parts of the tank that I have camouflage. You could argue of course that I've lost contrast in the process, and this is true, but bear in mind that this model is far from finished. This is only a snapshot of my current progress. So far we've seen what a filter is and how to apply it, but when should one use a filter? Well, one of the main applications is vehicles with camouflage, such as my Panzer. In this case, we apply the filter to unify the colors. However, you can also use filters to increase tonal variety, using different ones on different panels. And of course, sometimes it may be that your base coat just doesn't look exactly how you wanted it, and you would like to modify it in a subtle way. For example, modelers using German Grey almost always apply a blue filter afterwards. So, do I recommend that you get an enamel filter or two? Absolutely, they're really easy and fun to use, and they're also great value for money, given that a single pot is likely to last you years. All in all, I think enamel filters are one of the best weapons in our arsenal. If you want to see my review of the new Ammo, Panzer 1 and So visual guide, click on the video on the left, and if you want to have a look at my whole weathering process step by step, check out the one on the right. Thank you all, and remember, keep it up and weather it out.